Hello, in this video, I am going to show you how to set up Kotlin, the programming language on a Windows machine. If you're interested in if for Linux or Mac, for example, I've got videos covering that, so feel free to check them out. Okay, so first of all, you want to open up a web browser. And if we just go to just Google Kotlin and go to kotlinlang.org. This is a great website. It allows you to, you know, there's a lot of resources on here. But if you scroll down, go to this little section here. We're going to be using the IntelliJ IDEA to, you know, run our Kotlin code. You can run it using Android Studio. That's assuming you're going to be doing, you know, Android apps. You want to be using Eclipse by installing the plugin. Eclipse is very popular. So if you want to go down that route, that is fine. Or you could just be compiling it via terminal or command line depending on your operating system. I'm choosing IntelliJ simply because IntelliJ is created by JetBrains. JetBrains are the developers of the Kotlin programming language. So if we go to instructions and just download the community edition. So I'll provide links to everything, don't worry. And just download this exe right here. And so it's going to wait for that to download and then we'll, you know, we'll be doing the J, I mean, we'll be doing IntelliJ. While that downloads, one other thing that we're going to need is the JDK. I've already got it installed, but let me just show you. So if you go to Google JDK, go to here and let me just accept these cookies. Go to right here, download the latest version. And then if you scroll down. Click accept license agreement and just download which version you want. It'll be the Windows 64 bit version .exe. Install this before you install, actually, it doesn't matter. You can install this first and then this, but some of the steps for this requires the JDK, mainly the setup or the creation stage of our project. So, JDK is the Java development kit which has the regular sort of Java in there that allows you to run Java application, but it also provides the tools that, you know, you need to develop and test Java applications. Kotlin is compiled on a Java based compiler, hence why we need it. So just download the JDK. Chances are you probably already got it if you're into development. So, but if not, this is where to go. But like I said, I'll provide a link to everything. This is almost done, another 20 seconds or so, and then it will be done. A few more seconds, and then we can open this bad boy up. Eight more seconds, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, done. Almost. <laughs> and almost, almost. And if we just click this, open it up. So just click yes. And so this is the setup, so just click next and just install it wherever you know you want to. I'm gonna change the directory, I'm gonna change it to Go to PC, let's change it to D drive software, and I'm going to install it there. But you can choose where you want to install it. Click next, and you can create a desktop shortcut. You can create a context menu as well. You can, you know, change all of this stuff. You can download in and install JRA as well, which is essentially, you know, part of the JDK aspect of it but if you do the jdk manually then you don't really need to do this so add launcher directory to the path you can do that if you're you know doing certain type of compilation you'll be required but for the most part we can leave it click next click install and this won't take very long once it's installed we can actually create a kotlin based project and i'll just show you how to run it in other videos i'll cover all the different you know features that the Kotlin programming language provides such as variables, functions, you know, all of that good stuff.
So luckily for us, we only have to do this, you know, this step once and then we're all good to go. Okay, so while this, you know, extracts, installs, etc., I'm just going to put the mic on mute, but I'll unmute it when we're ready to go. Okay, so it's all done, and we, we can just click the run button, click finish. I'll close the web browser down, we don't need that anymore. And you can import settings if you have a previous, you know, configuration. I don't, so I'm just going to click OK. Just accept the privacy policy, click continue. I don't want to send any of my data, it's your choice if you do want to. You can choose the theme, I'll select the dark version, click just next default plugins and I'm leaving everything as default you can customize it disable it and whatnot but we can leave it as default featured plugins and again you can change this if you know what you're doing otherwise just go to start using IntelliJ IDEA and we're almost there now we're literally at the point where we can create a project go to create new project and you want to select Kotlin for the project SDK will be your Java project. I mean your you know your JDK version. So if you just select that there, and if it says nothing available, then you just have to make sure you go and head download it. So Java, Kotlin, JVM, your project SDK. Click next. You know, I title it something. I'm going to say setup. I'm going to go to desktop. So I'm going to go to my desktop and install it there. So I'm going to have to go to users and go right here. 
desktop, Tori PM4 slash setup, click OK. Uh, I just need to create the folder, sorry. So for the token setup, there we go. Click OK. Folders appeared there. Click Finish. This will launch up the IntelliJ part of our project now. So click Close. Click the project right here. And I got Setup. We need to create a Kotlin file. So right click SRC, which stands for Source. Go to New, Kotlin File Class. I can name it. I'm going to call it Main. And now what we need to do is simply in here write some code. But before I do that, just so it's easier for you to see, I'm going to go to settings. I'm going to go to editor, font. I'm going to increase the font size to 20. Did, I, did, did that change it? I'm not too sure. I meant to put 24. 24. Click OK. OK, so it's just a little bit easier for you to see. Maybe you're on mobile, for example. You need to create a default function, which is called main. This is the main entry point of all your applications. So fun is the keyword for function. Then you put the keyword main. Open to a bracket inside here. You put args, which stands for arguments. Colon, array. And this is an array of strings. Array of strings, so string. Now for some curly braces, this is where all of the code for our application goes. I'm going to put a print line just so you can you know, see it working. I'm going to say, hello world. Save that. And before we run it, so what is happening? Keyword function creates function. This is a default main method. This is just some arguments that the application gets from the compiler, you, you know, when it's actually, not the compiler, you know, when it's actually run. So you can actually provide these if you run it, for example, via terminal or something like that or command line. This is just a requirement. I'll cover this in more depth in a separate video. Curly braces just indicate the starting and the ending code and anything in between is part of this function, this right here. So we can just go to run, click run, Click main KT and it'll run it and we'll get the result down here. So just a few more seconds and there we go. It says hello world and that's it. It's that simple to download, set up and create a project for Kotlin using the IntelliJ, you know, I, you know the editor. If you have any questions, feel free to pop me a message. And as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.